Hey everybody, I'm back today with a craft video. Today we are going to be painting rocks. The supplies you are going to need is a rock. I went outside, I found a rock, I washed it off. Here it is. If you don't have any rocks in your yard, you could also use pine cones, pieces of concrete. Uh, you can really paint whatever. You're going to need some paint, tempera paint, acrylic paint. That works. Uh, be careful with acrylic paint though because it does stain. So I've got this nice newspaper out and some paper plates to protect my nice table from getting paint on it. Uh, for brushes, I've got a big old regular paintbrush and I've got a little teeny paintbrush. If you don't have paintbrushes, you could also use Q-tips or toothpicks. Here is an example of some rocks I did quite a while ago. This guy's face is coming off. I tried to make like a big dragon and he's all curled up and he's sleeping. <laughs> uh, it's not my favorite anymore, so let's see if we can make something new today. So, the first step in painting your rock is you gotta have a plan. This one, I would like to paint it and then write my name on it. Uh, when you paint your rock, you wanna make sure that it's sitting in a way that when it's done, it will sit flat. So it looks like my rock's gonna sit flat that way. If I turn it over, it's gonna be kind of wiggly when I set it there. So I'm gonna have to set it like this. My name will be on top here. So let's do it. I'm gonna paint it pink first. So if you guys know me, you know I love pink. Okay, there's my paint. Now, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to not get my fingers all painty and still cover most of the rock. I think I'm just gonna leave it setting on the plate and then I'll just kind of paint around it. Yeah, like that. And I'll get underneath it. When it's sitting up, no one's gonna see the bottom, so it's okay if the bottom's not painted. That's not gonna bother me. All right, it might take a couple coats to get this looking the way I want. We'll find out though. Mm, I don't want it to be too streaky. This might take some time and that's okay because right now we've got a lot of time, don't we everybody? <laughs> All right, there we go. Cool, I'm gonna let that dry and then I will come back and do another coat. Let that dry and write my name on it, okay. I've got another rock here, let's move on to that one. This wonderful little rock here, I want to make it into a strawberry, a pink strawberry. So I'm gonna paint it pink as well. Here we go. Red strawberries are good too, but I thought, wouldn't it be unique and cute to make a pink strawberry out of a rock? <laughs> Ooh, he's a wiggly guy. He's wobbling around. I think I can get more of the bottom when I paint the second coat, because I do want this one to be totally covered, so it just looks like a funny little strawberry. Sorry guys, I'm trying to stay in the frame here. All right, there is my first coat of pink. I gotta let it dry, then I'm gonna give it another coat, and then we'll do the details. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hi everybody, I'm back. My paint on my first rock is dry, and now it is time for me to paint my name onto it. Now, this part's gonna be a little bit trickier, I think, with this brush. It could turn out pretty messy, so I'm gonna try and use the tip of my paintbrush, like a pencil. And we're gonna see how that goes. I have written my name in pencil first, so I know where I'm gonna paint. So that way, I can take care of any mistakes before then. If you make a mistake in the paint, it takes a little bit longer to fix. You can still fix it, but a little bit more trouble than erasing a pencil. Cool. Yeah, this is going well. I have to dip my pen a lot, but that's just fine. Perfect. I think if you can't think of anything else to do for your rock, I think writing your name on a rock is a great idea. 
It's kind of a little keeps that you can make for yourself. You know how to write your own name, so it's not going to be too hard. It's just kind of something fun to do. Or if you don't want to write your own name, you could make a rock for somebody else. All right, I'm liking using the tip of my paintbrush. That's working out for me. And there we are. Paint your name on a rock. Sweet. Let's take a look at how our strawberry's doing. All right, my pink paint is now dry on my little strawberry rock. Let's put some green leaves on him. I used the pencil to sketch out where I wanted the leaves to go. So that would kind of help me with my painting. I'm gonna use the end of my paintbrush again because I don't have a paintbrush that's very tiny right now. I'm gonna do this a little bit first, I think, and then I'll go back and fill in the top. I had to mix some paints together to get this pastel green color that I wanted. I mixed a few drops of green with some white paint and I was able to get the color that I wanted, even though I didn't have that color in a bottle of paint on hand. All right, we're almost all the way around. Our little strawberry. I'm going to fill in the leaves here, then I'm going to flip my paintbrush around and paint the top. All right, I'm gonna use the bristles now. Oops, got a little bit right there. That's okay, not a big deal. All righty. Hmm. I fix this part just a touch. I don't want them to look like a little drip. I kind of want it to look more like a leaf. Just fix that just a little bit. There we go. Ooh, I like that better now. All right, there's my top. Now, if I were to set this down, it might smudge a little bit on my plate, so I have prepared a little cup to set it in so that it can dry there. All right, I'll be back to do the seeds in just a sec. All right, last step. I've marked where I want my little white seeds to go. Let's do it. All right. There we go. My two painted rocks are done. If you make anything, I'd love to see it. And I'd love if you could share it in the next hangout. Thanks guys, bye.